Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another quick love weekly reading for you all. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you have Leo in your chart. Please remember this will not resonate with all Leos out there. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, it's simply not your story. It's very important not to force it if it's not, okay? Let's see what's going on Leo. We're going to be looking at how your person's feeling towards you, how you're feeling towards your person, and the mutual energy between you both. This way or this way? This way. Okay, Leo. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Leo, let's see what's going on. Ooh. What's going on, Leo? Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to read this as your person. I'm going to read this as you. Roles can always be reversed. T flip it as need be. Okay, if this is you, Leo, and this is your person, go ahead and just flip it. Mutual will always be in the middle, okay? And your person's energy... Let me see if I can fix this. There we go. In your person's energy, Leo, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, the Hanged Man, and the Three of Swords. Your person, at least you feel like your person, has stopped fighting for this, okay? They've completely stopped fighting for this. They've stopped being affectionate. They've stopped showing you emotion, feeling, love, even expressing if they do love you. Maybe they don't say I love you anymore. And it has you sort of stuck in a position where you think that they're possibly dealing with someone else or, or in a third party or giving someone else the attention that you want from them, Leo. Okay. You see how maybe they were willing to like they were willing to put in the work to build this foundation with you. And now they're not. It's kind of like that foundation is broken and now they're not even trying to put it back together here. Okay, they're not showing that they love you with this Knight of Cups in reverse. Like that whole knight in shining armor, they're doing the exact opposite. They're not even coming forward with, I want this, I like you, I love you, whatever it is, okay? Like they're just, like if, like if any inconvenience happens, they just completely stop and shut down. Like you see how there's like water hitting the horse? And usually upright, they would be willing to run and take charge. I love you, come here, take my cup. But when it's in reverse, it's like, oh, I got water on my horse? Never mind. I don't want this. This isn't going to work. You know, they stopped fighting for it. And it's like a stagnant situation. It's, it's the hanged man. You don't know what's really going to come from this. I, I'm getting it's giving you, like, mental, like, it's really, like, physically making you ill. Look, it's like they're hanging from their feet upside down. And all the blood is going to her head, right? And it's giving you headaches. You, you can't even sleep. And you're kind of like, do I have this person's heart? Do I not have this person's heart? What's going on? This person just has me hanging, like just hanging there. Ooh, like a, what is those things? Like those speed bags, like those things that the boxers have, like a speed bag. Like I'm just her, I'm just his or her punching bag. And I don't know what's going on. And you possibly think that this person is out with another person. Like you think that this person, Leo, I don't know if maybe you have hurt this person or this person has hurt you in the past, but it's kind of like this person, I've hurt this person, now this person's doing their best to hurt me. And you feel like this person's being deceptive, like they're sneaking out, being with someone else, or they're leaving you home and sneaking out or they're or you think this person's home and they're sneaking out or something like that like you really think that this person's uh doing you dirty or doing you wrong or possibly in another connection or giving to someone else like this person's breaking your heart like you think this person's being vengeful 
Like if you've hurt this person, Leo, you feel like they're purposely hurting you. Like they're cutting your wings from under you. Just because like they don't even care. Like they don't, like you think this person doesn't care about you at all. Like you think that like this person just doesn't care how you feel. They don't care if they hurt you because they're already so numb from possibly being hurt by you or being hurt by this connection. I'm getting someone said something that cut real deep. This person could have a very poisonous tongue. Or you, Leo, okay, you could have hurt this person, so this person does it out of spite, okay? But that's how you feel. You feel like this person just isn't putting in the work or just doesn't try. In your energy, Leo, you have the judgment, the two of swords, the five of wands and the ace of wands both in reverse you're at a crossroads Leo you're at a crossroads and you need to make a decision ooh you've cried over this I just heard my son sniffling you've cried over this before okay the judgment I'd be surprised I won't be I won't be surprised if we get that card okay so you have judgment you need to make a judgment decision like you're on the fence on what to do about this and you're at a crossroads like you're trying to block it out and you're trying to block out make you're trying to how do you say put off making this decision like you're trying to block it out and just kind of take it day by day and see where it goes but it's like you get up and get ready for for the crossfire every day. And, and you're tired of fighting. Look at the five of wands. It's like you get up hoping for the best. Like this reminds me of the star card. Also the moon card. Look at the moon is very, very adamant here. Star card means peace, tranquility, hope. Moon means secrets, mystery. You get up hoping for the best with this person although you still are worried because you don't know where it's taking you and then you end up in the crossfire and you've been blocking out you've been you've been putting off making a decision about what you want to do in this situation but it's here you're at that crossroads now you need to make a decision is it worth fighting for or do you need to leave because it does show you are tired of fighting you are tired of fighting. You are tired of going back and forth. You're tired of the bickering. You're tired of arguments. Arguments. Maybe this person also puts you in competition. It looks like they're all fighting for a woman, right? This could be men. Like here's you, Leo, and it's like you feel like you're you're in competition with everyone else and you don't even feel like you're in first place. You don't even think you're this person's first choice. But you're tired of it. You're tired of it, but you don't want a new beginning with anyone else. You want something with this person. Like, and then it's kind of like, through all the fire, can we make it out? This is where you're trying to be, in the stars and the moon, right? Through all this fire, can we make it out and see a brighter night, see a better night, see a better day? You're at a crossroads, Leo. Ooh, this is giving me the chills. In the mutual energy, you have the four of wands in reverse, the three of cups in reverse, and the temperance. There's a lot of bad times here. There's a lot of bad memories here because there was a third party. Possibly you had a third party, Leo. Possibly this person had a third party. Or the poss it's possible you both have had third parties while being in this connection. And that's why it's so weird. That's why this person stops fighting. And that's why you're so suspicious of this person. Because they think you have a third party and then you think this person has a third party, Leo. It's weird. In the mutual energy, that's what this is. You guys cannot there's too much bad memories because of a third party here or somebody overindulges in partying or, or women or men or alcohol or drugs or friends or something like that 
you both you both see each other the same way leo you think this person just wants to go out have a good time um possibly be promiscuous and, and drink party whatever it is but that's the way that they see you leo they think you overindulge over party over give yourself to too many men too many women you both see each other the same and you both are over it and you both just want peace all you want is peace Under the deck, we have the lovers in reverse. You guys are drifting apart. There's been so much drifting here. Like so much detachment has occurred in this current week or this current time or the past few days or something like that. I'm getting like the past 10 days, there's been something crazy that's drifted you guys apart or detached. And it could be due to a queen of wands, okay? Underneath that, we have the queen of wands. Then we have the empress in reverse. Leo, you think this person gets ready and looks handsome and looks sexy or looks hot or looks beautiful, whatever it is, you think they get dressed up for other people. You think that they get this because they want to be wanted by other people, like they get all dolled up or or suited and booted, you know what I mean? If, they, if they're a man or if they're a woman, they get real beautiful or dolled up. You think that they get dolled up to look sexy or handsome for everyone else, but they're so bitter and like just blah, like whatever with you because they're mad at you and they don't want to grow with you and you feel like they want attention from someone else or everyone else and that's what's drifting you all apart here. And I think that you want to just move forward and, and be calm and happy here. You want to put an end to that previous cycle, like that... The cycle in the past, you want to call that to an end and you want to just be happy and move forward. But this person just won't seem to let things go. You see, like they're still living in the past, in that past hurt, in that past. Some, there's something in the past that like has suffocated this person and they can't let it go. Even if they want this family with you, Leo, and want this happiness with you, you do give them happiness. They do feel at home with you. But there's something that they can't let go, even if they want to move forward with you. And that's why at the slightest inconvenience, they just drop everything because they don't want to be hurt by you again. Let me see. It's, look, ooh, look at that card underneath that. The death card. They do not want to get hurt by you. Look, they're afraid that every time something goes good, one of something else is going to happen. Something bad's going to happen. That's why they just shut down and just want to move to something a little bit more calm and predictable where they know their feelings won't get hurt or something like that. Or maybe that's you, Leo. Maybe that's, ooh, ooh, did you see the camera fell back? Yeah, it's like falling back into old patterns. You both are afraid to fall back into old patterns here. Let's get some love messages and one soul confession for you. If this message is resonating, leave a comment below. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I do have the full love special reading still on. Um, you can purchase through my Etsy shop or you can purchase through my email. Um, if you've, Etsy is the best way to reach me um, because I'm so swamped with emails. I'm trying to get to everybody as fast as I can. Uh, my merch, my cards, my donation list, everything is in the description below, okay? Um, as well as my Instagram if you want to follow me on a personal level. The link to my podcast if you guys want to hear me talk about your twin flame journey, past lives, everything that I don't talk about on the channel will be there. Also, if you don't want to wait my response times for the um, readings, you can also book with my sponsorship Keen there below as well. I'll put it in the comments and the description. I think it's like $1.99 and they're super good and they give you an immediate reading and an immediate answer, okay? So there's always that option if you guys want to go ahead and do that. One more love message for Leo's person. Ooh. Leo. Ooh. Yep. You're over it, Leo. You're over it. You're over this this same cycle. You're over this too. You're over this situation, okay? In the mutual energy, we have work, work, work. If y'all want this to work, it's going to take work from your side, from your person's side, Leo, and working together, okay? It's a whole lot of work that needs to be done in order to repair this. I see it can be repaired, but you both are so scared of each other. In your person's energy, we have I'm sorry. 
okay, they know they're difficult. They know they're difficult. They know they don't put in the work. They know they don't put in the effort. But like I said, I feel like it's coming from a place of extreme hurt or extreme letdown. That that's why they don't want to open themselves up again, okay? Underneath the deck, my family loves you. So it could, ooh, and they're saying trust your intuition. Ooh, and then they're saying focus on yourself, Leo, okay? So just be careful. Um, my life is better with you as well as trust issues, okay? So like I said, y'all both want this. You guys may have children together. You guys may have children from other people, but the kids really mesh well or this person loves your kids or you love their kids or something like that with the family. However, I feel you both have trust issues against each other. That's what it's like screaming this whole reading, right? But you guys are happy together. It's crazy, like... Like, you guys get along, but there's, like, certain things here that just your person won't let go and won't let you get over it or live down. And you, Leo, um, you're just tired of this person throwing it in your face. Okay. I do a lot more than just check your social media. My insecurities get the best of me. So your person is very, very paranoid that you are disloyal or dishonest okay they like go searching for stuff and they make stuff up in their head possibly and that's why they just don't try like have you ever met someone like that where they just overthink overthink and then they think something and like even if you tell them it's not true they just won't budge and that's why they don't open up that's why they don't open up because they're like no well this person my leo's already talking to someone else my leo is doing this with this person or something like that I don't want to seem weak or vulnerable by showing emotions. That's you, Leo. You don't, it's hard for you to tell this person how you feel because there's been so much done in this situation. Numb. Both of you guys are numb. Both of you are numb from the situation. That's why no one puts in the work. But the only way this will ever work is if you both put in the work together and then work on yourselves individually. For your person. Oof know your worth don't settle for less than you deserve okay so this person thinks that you don't deserve them leo this person thinks that they deserve more than what you have done to them i think you've hurt them some way i feel like you've hurt them some way and they think that they know they think that they deserve better than what you're willing to give them now like even if they want to be with you they think that there's something better. Like there's too much damage that they don't think they can fix it. All right, late night visits, don't take it seriously. So this person may be in a third party situation. Three of Swords, this person may be dealing with someone else or they may be dealing with you, okay? This is my Seven of Swords, Three of Swords um, card. This is exactly what it looks like or what it seems, okay? Like they mess around with other people but they don't like them. Like, they just do it because they're trying to get over you, but they would rather choose you or something like that. Like, they're looking for somebody that they feel is worthy of their love, but the only person they want to love is you, Leo. That's why they're saying, yeah, I do what I do, but don't take it so seriously. Or I did what I did. Don't take it seriously. Like, it meant nothing. You, buy, you, you both are just so numb. This is so, it's kind of toxic. I know it still runs through your mind. You both have heard that you guys just don't, want to get over okay but that's what i have for you leo i hope it helps i hope it resonates i'm sorry if that was a little heavy i'm sending you lots of love light peace clarity may peace always surround you and i will talk to you soon